Detroit back on track and facing that huge $14 billion long-term deficit. Emergency manager Kevin Orr could soon be making his first cuts. 7 Action News reporter Jim Kurtzner shows us who could be among the first to go. The financial crisis has been around here for months. So have different levels of advisors. How many do you still need now? They um, are in charge of overseeing the consent agreement, and the consent agreement is really the stepping off point from where Kevin is picking up and, and going forward. He's talking about this outside panel of experts, the Financial Advisory Board, who came in a year ago and established the deep hole that led to the emergency manager. City Council also has its staff, advisors. With Council's power changed to merely advisors to the emergency manager, are these staffers needed? Well, that's something we did um, prior to ORS getting here and something that needed to be done and it should have been done and should be done by us. And uh, so, you know, staff positions, we're looking at each of them. Detroit Mayor Dave Bing also brought in top financial advisors within the last year. The mayor is also now only an advisor. In addition, financial consultants have been hired and are working on Detroit restructuring. Remember, Detroit's a city that's gone from 1.9 million population to now only 700,000. All departments are under review. Right size and right focus government to make sure that it's providing the right amount of services, the most efficient way, and to make sure that the people and the citizens of Detroit can get those services. No timetable yet on the cuts, but they are coming. In downtown, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. And when those cuts are made, they will come in written order. All of the emergency manager's orders are now online.